the land of Hyrule in The Legend of Zelda has a long history that includes several wars in a common timeline. While Hyrule is usually threatened by an evil force in the Zelda games, many games take place between wars, so players will often see the effects of recent conflicts before the game begins. Although not directly apparent in most games, the effects have shaped Hyrule throughout the ages. Hyrule's story is split into multiple timelines, but each timeline has wars that take place between games. Even the Tears of the Kingdom trailer hints at a Zanai war that could lead to the tribe's evacuation from Hyrule, extinction, or displacement. There are many details missing from the Battle of Hyrule, but they are still important because the outcome of the battle shapes the next era of Hyrule, for better or for worse. Intervening wars took place before Twilight Princess. Long after Skyward Sword and before Twilight Princess, there was a tribe known as the Interlopers who were gifted with dark magic and sought to use their source of power to control the Holy Realm, an entity known as the Fusion Shadow. The Spirit of Light broke and sealed the fused shadow shards in Hyrule Temple as the Golden Goddess drove the suitor into the Twilight Zone. The Twilight Zone would later become the home of Twilight and Midna in The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, as Twilight is a descendant of banished interlopers. Invasion of the Shadows takes place in Twilight Princess. With Midna chosen as heir to the throne, the shadow invasion begins in Twilight. Zant is angry and close to the spirit of Ganondorf. The two made a deal and Zant usurped the throne, forcing Midna to flee to the safety of Hyrule. Zant blocked the source of light in the Twilight Zone leaving it in darkness and traveled to Hyrule to help Ganondorf take over the land. Facing the ghosts that first sealed the interlopers, Zant was able to free them from all but one and spread their light among the shadow insects. Zelda gave the throne to Zelda Grudor's King Ganondorf, and Zant so that her people would not be slaughtered. Zant eventually imprisoned him in the tower, leaving Link and Midna to save Hyrule. Twilight Princess begins here, detailing how Link ends the shadow invasion with Midna's guidance and a little help from Zelda. The Hyrule Civil War unites the royal family of Hyrule. The cause of the hilarious civil war is unknown but it happened shortly before Ocarina of Time when Link's mother was injured in the war. She managed to get Link to the Great Deku Tree before she died from her injuries, resulting in Link being raised as a Kakiri. In Ocarina of Childhood, Link witnesses Ganondorf swearing allegiance to the King of Hyrule, another consequence of the Civil War. The Civil War was long and bloody, but the peace that followed was short-lived, as Ganondorf had no real intention of serving the King. When Ocarina of Time trapped Link in the Sacred Precinct, Ganondorf stole the Trident of Power and used it to conquer Hyrule. In a way, conquering Ganondorf is similar to the second part of the Hyrulean Civil War. Before the Link to the Past, Ganondorf was sealed away in the Prison War. Dungeon Wars takes place before a Link to the Past, but takes place after one of the possible endings of Ocarina of Time. Ganondorf took the Triforce from Zelda's Sacred Realm and corrupted the realm, turning it into a world of darkness. Ganondorf then attacks Hyrule, but is stopped by the Knights, sacrificing themselves to buy time for the Seven Sages. As a result, the Seven Sages sealed Ganondorf's connection to the dark world of the past. The Great Flood created the Wind Waker Sea. Long after the Dungeon War, the seal of the Seven Sages on Ganondorf and the Dark World somehow weakened. After escaping, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule to avenge his imprisonment. As darkness descends on Hyrule, the king tries unsuccessfully to stop Ganondorf. The Hero of Time also did not return to save the people, so they turned to the Golden Goddess for help. In response, the goddesses drowned Hyrule, sealing both Ganondorf and Hyrule underwater. After Ganondorf breaks free again, a Wind Waker takes place on the island above Hyrule. The first catastrophe happened 10,000 years before BOTW. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The Calamity Cannon has existed as a malevolent creature long before Breath of the Wild, but the Haleys are ready to deal with him. A knight with the sealed Sword of Darkness, a princess with divine power, Sheikah's guardian, and a beast joined forces to seal Ganon of misfortune. Although the Sheikh's technology helped seal Ganon away and he prophesied, that he would break free again in the future, the King of Hyrule was still wary of the technology. As a result, the Sheikhs were banished from Hyrule and abandoned their technology, resulting in the loss of their secrets as they adopted a simpler way of life. When Calamity Ganon returns to BOTW, Zelda needs her magical powers to defeat him because she can't rely on the Sheikhs' forgotten technology as a princess from the past. Misfortune Ganon learned from his failure and devised a plan to usurp the once buried Sheikh technology that the Hylians had discovered before Ganon's predicted return. BOTW focuses on the second disaster. Disaster Ganon returns on Princess Zelda's 17th birthday, 100 years before the start of BOTW. His attack damaged much of Hyrule, including the corrupt guardians, but Zelda managed to seal herself and Ganon away in Hyrule Castle after sending the injured Link to the Resurrection Temple. While she was closed, Hyrule worked as hard as she could to rebuild. Link wakes up just as Zelda's seal is about to be broken, and begins preparing to free Ganon. 
the 100th year of the Second Calamity marked the beginning of BOTW, a conflict that culminated in the defeat of Calamity Ganon at the end of BOTW. Death may return in Tears of the Kingdom, but the attack he led before Skyward Sword to try and take the Triforce for himself isn't mentioned before because it happened before the founding of Hyrule, and the war doesn't seem to have a name. Hyrule has a long history of war, bloodshed, and corruption, and the trailer for Tears of Kingdom seems to hint at a new war, or perhaps one caused by Demis. As long as there is a threat to Hyrule and the Triforce, Link has to be the hero of Legend of Zelda. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support my channel.